Hey, Colts Nation, do you want peace of mind while surfing the internet and while also viewing our content safely? Well, now you can, thanks to our sponsor, Aura. It's no doubt, guys, with the internet becoming so massive and new information being put out there every single day, identity theft has become one of the biggest forms of threat in the world. It's important that you guys remain safe out there on the internet while doing all the things that you do. Let Aura be able to help you. Some of you may have things like Aura already, but this allows you to protect everything on all of your devices all in one place, rather than having several different apps all at once, making it easier to track everything and helps your wallet. Aura monitors the dark web to protect your personal information. It checks all of your devices for malware, gives you guys one click VPNs to help you when you're shopping online and so much more. You can even get credit score checks and alerts for suspicious activities if something's going on with your cards. If you want to stop people from getting access to your personal information online, be sure to go to our sponsor, Aura.com slash bring the juice or scan the QR code and get a 14 day free trial and see your, for yourself the benefits Aura can provide for you. Allow Aura to protect you so you can get back to surfing the internet safely and enjoy your favorite Colts content creators. The second day of training camp had a lot of different talking points, a lot of different topics, but one of the biggest ones that was discussed was quarterback Anthony Richardson getting all the reps with the number ones. We'll talk about that in today's episode. Talk about Richardson, obviously the highlight play that he had, and more here on this episode of Bring the Juice. Let's get it, guys. All right, what's going on, everybody? So wanted to make a quick thought video here on rookie quarterback Anthony Richardson. On Friday, Richardson was given all of the starting reps with the number one offense for the Colts. I wanted to kind of talk about that, right? He had all the, the options on the seven-on-sevens, on the 11-on-elevens, all that stuff. Richardson was the guy got a lot of hype, and it was obviously highlighted by one of his big plays on the seven-on-seven -seven periods with that big throw on the run to Alec Pierce, 60-yard throw off his back foot. Just an incredible throw. I mean, it was incredible to be there down at camp first off. Incredible to witness that in person. It was definitely an awesome thing. And so wanted to kind of talk about Anthony Richardson, right, because there's been a lot of hype. You know, obviously there's been hype ever since he was drafted. But even more hype yesterday after that big highlight play. And, you know, I even tweeted out and said, man, you see the ability with a play like that where you see exactly why the Colts fell in love with him months in advance and why it really wasn't close for them between him and Will Levis and why they felt like his ceiling was exponentially higher really than any of the other quarterbacks that were going to become available at number four. So, with that being said, I wanted to kind of discuss this today. You know, looking at Anthony Richardson, obviously made a play like that, but had some inconsistent moments at training camp, and that was all to be expected, right? Like nobody thought Anthony Richardson was going to come out day two of practice, really day one with the starting offense to come out there. And really, you know, this whole season, come out week one, if he is the starter, and just light the world on fire and, you know, basically do what Andrew Luck did in 2012, right? And have a, maybe he will, but I think a lot of expectation is Anthony Richardson is going to take some time, right? He's going to take some time. He's not a polished prospect. He'd only played in 13 games in college, right? There's a lot of question marks, a lot of inexperience with Anthony Richardson, the reason the Colts took him, I mean, they've even admitted it at this point. They didn't take him for his college production and what he did in college, but what they feel like he can do moving forward in the pros. And they betted on things like his character, his work ethic, obviously his physical ability, all those things the Colts, you know, made it a point that they were they were drafting him because they think he has the makeup physically and mentally to be that guy moving forward. And so with that being said, like I said, like there was going to be some bumps, and there still are going to be some bumps in the road with Anthony Richardson just having the inexperience that he has. You know, there's going to be some of those things, and that was kind of expected. And, you know, it's something with Richardson where I think at certain points we need to pump the brakes on Richardson, and then also points we need to 
have a little bit more grace probably than we're having, you know, when it comes to that, like, you know, when he makes a play like that, yeah, it's exciting. I understand. But also I think about it, like he, he can make those plays, which is awesome, but he is far from a polished and finished prospect, right? Anthony Richardson has those traits like you saw yesterday to be a very special player in this league. He really does. Rarely do quarterbacks have that ability to do that, right? To have that physical ability, be able to scramble, make a play 60 yards down the field and place it perfectly like Richardson did, right? But saying that, he is wildly inconsistent at this point in his career, being so young, having such little experience. And so Richardson has all the ability, all the talent, all the things that you were looking for. And the Colts obviously felt like up here, he had it as well. And his character, you know, his resolve, being able to come back, you know, after, you know, a bad interception or come back after some controversy or some adversity that he might face, right? And be able to come back and respond. Well, the Colts felt like through some of the things in the, that he's experienced in life, right? Some of the circumstances he's experienced, you know, growing up, some of the experiences he had at Florida, the Colts felt like all those things really make him a kind of guy that, you know, can be a leader and can grow as a leader and can lead a franchise moving forward. And so they bet on those things. So all this to say, the Colts brought in Anthony Richardson. They brought in Shane Steichen in, in the offseason with this idea that, and Jim Mercer, Colts owner Jim Mercer has even said this, this isn't just going to be a 2023 thing, right? This isn't about 2023. This is about 2024, 2025. Moving forward, right? Anthony Richardson, how he develops. You know, I put out a question mark on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. And I just kind of asked people, I was just curious, like, you know, what for you would make you think this is a you know, good rookie season for Anthony Richardson, right? Like if Anthony Richardson was to start all 17 games, what would be a good stat line that you would be encouraged by? And I kind of saw everything all over the spectrum. But I think a lot of people just said, if he could just be better, you know, if he can just get better from where he was, where he'll be, you know, week number one, where he'll be week one of training camp to week 17. Like if he can, you can see some positive growth in terms of his development. That's a win, right? And so I think that should be the expectation for Anthony Richardson is he's got all the talent. He's got all the ability. There's no question about that. He's just going to take some time. You know, that's why they brought in guys like Shane Steichen, Jim Bob Cooter, all these different guys on the offensive side of things that have a history of working with, yes, some good quarterbacks, but also developing some young quarterbacks as well, right? That's why the Colts did this, and they made this, like, consistent approach, even though they never have come out and really said it. I mean, we all know that that's why they felt comfortable taking Richardson is because of who they had on their staff, right? They had some of these guys – who had some of that history, you know, developing these young quarterbacks. For that reason, this is something that I've said all offseason. I said, you know what, leading up to the draft, when we were looking at the different prospects, you know, there was a few that we liked, a few that we didn't like. But I was like, man, if you just want to go for it, if this is a way that, like, you can either go boom or bust, you know, and you can either propel yourself very quickly to the top of the AFC and the top of the NFL or get yourself fired, it's by going after a guy and drafting a guy like Anthony Richardson. And the Colts decided to do that. And I mentioned, you know, the different guys that the Colts, you know, brought into their coaching staff. I just wanted to kind of talk about real fast their different coaches and some of the experience that they have, right? A few of these guys, it's very interesting. I mean, we already know about Shane Steichen, his work working with Phillip Rivers and then Justin Herbert for a year, his work with Jalen Hurts, right? The development we saw, I think the more impressive one obviously is Hurts because Herbert was a guy that was taken very early. So that was one that was more expected, right? But with the Jalen Hurts one, it's a little bit more interesting for sure because Jalen Hurts was a little bit more of an unpolished guy. And then what you saw from year one to year two, and then just how he continued to progress, Shane Steichen was a big factor into that especially when he started calling plays Jalen Hurts got exponentially better and then you know you talk about Jim Bob Cooter and kind of his work with Trevor Lawrence last year and all that stuff as well and then you have different guys like Cam Turner the quarterbacks coach right he had some time in Arizona with Kyler Murray who we obviously know is a mobile quarterback as well and he was a part in helping Murray have two seasons of 
going to the Pro Bowl in 2020 and 2021. So we kind of helped develop him as well. So you see all these guys, and the main thing is you have a high ceiling quarterback. That clearly the highest ceiling quarterback in this draft. You pair that with the best option at potential head coach candidates on the offensive side of things in Shane Steichen. And I look at that and I say, look, it may work, it may not work. But I think you gave yourself, if you're the Colts and you were making the decisions, I think you gave yourself the best opportunity with Anthony Richardson and Shane Steichen to hit the highest ceiling possible. And that's what you needed to do, right? We've talked about the AFC. The AFC is loaded with young talent at the quarterback position right now. I mean, so many different guys, right, that are so good and so young and are going to be a part. And the Colts had to make this decision, right? They could have gone with some of these other quarterbacks, which maybe wouldn't have been necessarily bad options, but it may not have propelled them to the point where they could be serious contenders in the AFC. Now, it could, on the flip side, could go completely the opposite way. I mean, we've seen different quarterbacks with a lack of experience. Jake Locker's the guy I'm thinking of. You know, like guys with not as much experience who really flopped at the NFL level, right? So it could go either way, but – just wanted to say this. Anthony Richardson has elite traits, has these elite things to be one of the top quarterbacks in the league. He's just going to take time to determine, is he going to be one of those guys or not? And so it'll be really interesting to monitor, you know, training camp. I know the Colts have their next practice later tonight. So it'll be interesting to monitor, you know, is Richardson with the ones? Is he with the twos? You know, how does that kind of, how do those reps kind of get divvied up? throughout training camp but just wanted to make a quick video about Anthony Richardson how he's not ready yet right he's not there yet but he'll get there he'll get there if you truly believe and if Shane Steich is able to get the most out of him he'll get there so I just wanted to make this quick video kind of talking about that guys let me know your overall thoughts on Anthony Richardson do you believe he's the future in Indianapolis do you believe that working with Shane Steichen and all these guys on the offensive side of thing given their history will help get the best out of him. Let me know all those things in the comments below. But thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you are in the loop when we drop new content. But thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. And as always, go Colts.